Now marrow is exactly the same sort of vegetable as a butternut squash or a pumpkin. It most commonly is grown and produced in the summer, so it's slightly softer and more tender. So when we're going to roast it, we're not actually going to roast it for as long as you would with the sort of harder, woodier pumpkin. And it's going to be lovely and delicious and sweet and naturally caramelized. Now first thing we want to do is sort of trim those ends away. And we're just using a very sharp knife. You can see now that we've got the flat base of the marrow, it's very, very controllable on the chopping board. So you can run your knife around the outside. If you're maybe not as confident with a knife, you could just as easily use a peeler. And what we're going to do is just make an incisions all the way down through the center. And what you'll see in the middle is there's kind of like a little bit of pulp and some sort of under matured little small seeds. You could keep the seeds and because they're sort of tender and very soft, you could just nearly eat them as they are. Uh, they're packed full of nutrients and vitamins and really really good for you but we're not going to use them today we're just going to scrape them out because we're going to roast that marrow now roast marrow works especially well if you're having like a need a side dish for a roast dinner or you could even roast it and toss it through a salad it makes a lovely little soft vegetable for a salad now what you want to do is dice the marrow into even sized pieces very important that they're all the same size so as they cook evenly because it's really not like I said gonna take very long to cook we're gonna pop them into a tray and just drizzle a little bit of olive oil over those we're also gonna just season it up with a little bit of salt now it's very important that we sort of toss those together just a little shake so as they're all evenly coated with the salt and the oil we're gonna pop them into the oven really not gonna take very long they're gonna be at 180 degrees centigrade 360 degrees Fahrenheit and we're just going to cook them until they're slightly soft with a little bit of a bite left into them. It's going to be absolutely delicious. It's roast marrow.